Welcome guys. So today we'll look into a good set of Venn diagram. So it involves the concept of optimization. So this concept must be clear to you. Uh, now before uh, solving or before watching this video solution, uh, you must attempt this question first. Then only you'll be able to understand the solution better. The link of the question is always there in the description section. So just go there and solve and then come back and watch the video solution if you have not attempted it. Now let's start. The cable operator conducted a survey among 600 students in Indra Vihar. Each res residence watched at least one of the TV channels. So there would not be any case that a resident does not watch any of the TV channels. So this lines makes it very clear. And what are these TV channels? That is Star TV, Sony TV and Z TV. The number of the residents who watched both Star TV and Z TV but not C Sony TV are one less than the number of the residents who watched both star tv and sony tv but not ztv so yahan se clear ho gaya that it uh, you know we need to have a diagram and then only we'll be able to solve so that we need to represent these numbers over there on the diagram even if you read a bit further the ratio of the number of the residents who watched both star tv and ztv but not sony tv to the number of the residents who watched both sony tv and ztv is this so let's try to you know have this diagram and then try to put whatever the information is there then now the information is very limited and very clear okay so let's make a diagram fine so this would be a simple diagram this is for star tv this is uh, sony tv and z tv now let's again read it the number of the resistance who watched both star tv and z tv but not sony tv so what would uh, what would be that region so this would be this region number of residents with star uh, star tv z tv but not seen it so this region this is well less than the number of the residents who watched both star tv sony tv but not z tv so if this is x so this would be x plus one right and this makes it one less than this number okay so i'm not writing in terms of minus but in terms of plus now fine the ratio of the number of the residents who watched both star tv and z tv but not sony tv star tv z tv but not sony tv okay it's talking about this number to the number of the residents who watched both sony tv and z tv but not star tv okay so it's talking about this region and this ratio is 9 is to 1 okay this ratio is 9 is to 1 so so let's try to make it better if i make it as 9x this would be 11x and this would be 9x plus 1 this would be 9x plus 1 hope this is clear number of residents who watch sony tv star tv and ztv is equal and that is 300 so all circle value is equal to 300 and also we know that total number of people that have been surveyed is or the residents is 600 okay total number of people that has been surveyed is 600 fine now let's see what is there in the question the first question says that what is the best can be said about the number of residents who watched only star tv so what is the region of only star tv this region so let's name it as a okay let's name it as a uh, fine so we need to find the at least value so we need to find the minimum value of this region okay fine we do not have any information about this region and so on but summation of the circle will give equals to 300 and total circle will make it to 600 so very commonly used equation for optimization is what just two basic that exactly one region now what does exactly one region includes a b uh, okay if i make it as b and make this as c so a plus b plus c this makes it to exactly one region and exactly two region if i sum up all the exactly two region so that will make it to 29x plus 1 plus exactly three regions so let's name it as k so k this equals to what uh, total number of resident that is 600 and another equation is what exactly one plus twice of exactly two and this is the region or this is the number of exactly two that is 29x plus 1 plus thrice of exactly b that equals to 3k equals to 900 so these are the two basic equations that very commonly used in optimization fine now if uh 
because we have to find the minimum value of a and we need some relations right that is why we are doing all this because a k is involved so we need to find what could be the maximum value or what let me write it down like this a plus this total value that is 18 x plus 1 plus k that equals to 300 so we need to find minimum value of a so that's why we'll look into finding the maximum value of x 18 x plus k and the maximum value of 18 x plus k will come from this equations of optimization okay so now if we solve this further that is if we subtract let's name it as equation 2 equation 1 if we subtract equation 1 from equation 2 we'll get 29 x plus 1 plus 2 k equals to 300 now if i remove 1 and just write you know, 29 x plus 2 k will give 299 right so this will give uh, the possible values of x and k and accordingly in order to find the minimum value of a we'll see what could be the maximum value of 18 x plus k right so let's try to find what could be the possible values of x and k from this equation so let's make a small table of x and k right so let's start with easy number that is x equals to 1 when x equals to 1 what would be the value of k this will go to 70 135 now can i take x equals to 2 no i cannot take x equals to 2 in fact i cannot take x as even number because this will make even and if we subtract uh, an even number from odd number i'll get odd number and i'll not get integral value of k so x has to be always an odd number so if x equals to 3 this will make it to 87 and 299 minus 87 uh would be 212 and that will make it to 106 the next value would be 5 and we can see that the value of x is increasing by 2 right and this is decreasing by 29 right this is how it actually happens in optimization so i was just explaining you this so you can write all the further values of x and k possible so i just have to increase it by 2 and this decrease it by 29 if i decrease it by 29 i'll get 77 again i'll increase it by 2 and decrease it by 29 so that will make it to 48 similarly uh, when x equals to 9 this will decrease by 29 if this decreases by 29 so this would be 19 so we get got all the possible values now i cannot make x equals to 11 if i make x equals to 11 this would exceed uh, the value on the rhs and will give a negative value for k which is not possible so these are the only possible values for x and k fine now we need to find the minimum value of a let's try to put the different combination and see what are the possible values and what would be the minimum value of a so let's try to use the first possible combination of x and k and get the value of a because minima or maxima will always occur at the extreme values so either this or this let's try to check that in fact by seeing it i can say that it would occur by this but let's try to test it uh, a when 1 and 35 k equals to what uh, when k equals to 135 and x equals to 1 so 135 136 and 18 that makes it to 154 and that will make it to a equals to 146 now let's try to put this possible combination for a so k equals to 9 and x equals to uh, 19 so 18 9 is a 162 162 plus 19 will make it to 181 181 plus 182 so 118 so you can see that this will give the minimum value and at least 118 is there right also you can you know if you're not sure about it you can text any other value it would be between 118 and 146 fine now let's see question number two if the number of the residents who watched only z tv is 134 so it's just saying that the value of c is 134 so what do we need to uh answer how many residents watched all the three channels so we need to find the value of k now uh, this is very simple because over here we know all the possible values of x and k we know all the possible values for x and k now mind you this two uh, equation were applicable to complete question it has nothing to do uh, with the first question right first question is just the application of the values that we get for x and k 
So similarly, if c equals to 134, this 11x plus 9x, so that is 20x plus k will make it to how much? Because total is 300. This is 134. So that makes it to 166. So 20x plus k makes it to 166. So which possible combination will give? So this is an even number and k has to be even number because both the summation is even number. So k has to be an even number. So it could be either this or this. Let's try to see that and you can easily see that for this possible case, if k equals to 106, x equals to 3. So this will make it to uh, 166. So answer is 106. This is very simple. Uh, question number three, if the number of residents who watched all the three channel is 77. Okay, so it's talking about this case. We know the value of x. Then how many residents watched both Star TV and Sony TV but not Z TV? Star TV, Sony TV but not Z TV. So it's just asking the value of 9x plus 1. x equals to 5, that is 46. Question number four, what is the maximum number of residents who watched exactly two channels? Exactly two channels, it means 29x plus 1 and we have to answer the maximum value. So what is the maximum value of x? 9. So 29 into 9 plus 1. So 9 nines are 81 and 1 the last number would be 2. Answer is 262. Hope this is clear. So you just need to know the basic equation of optimization to solve this question. Right. That's all. Hope you have understood it. Thank you.